This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we cover the user experience of Parallels DAS. To log on to Parallels DAS as a user, go to cloud.parallels.com. Provide your username matching your Microsoft Enter ID and click Next. Select your account and click Next. Provide your password and click Sign In. Now process any multi-factor authentication request. This step could be different based on your organization's security policy. You're now logged on to Parallels DAS, and the All Apps section will automatically open. Here you can see applications and desktops you have access to. What you see here depends on what applications and desktops your organization's administrator has published. From here, you can easily select your favorite applications and desktops by using the Start icon. In this case, we select six applications and a desktop as our favorites. These resources are easily accessible from within the Favorites tab. Use the search field to search for specific resources. The search results contain items from both favorites as well as the app section. As a user, you can configure your own preferences for Parallels DAS. Click on the profile icon in the top right corner and select settings. From here, you can change settings related to local resources like clipboard, audio, links, and printers. Click save to save your settings. The input tab allows you to change pen, touch and keyboard related settings. To open a published desktop, click on the icon either from the All Apps or from the Favorite section. You now have access to the desktop and all installed applications. Once a session is active, the sidebar control panel appears. The sidebar offers quick and easy access for users to exchange files between a local or remote session, perform clipboard operations and view session telemetry information. The session information section contains detailed information and telemetry about your current session. Note that you can enable clipboard redirection to and from the virtual desktop. The remote clipboard section contains the current status of your clipboard. The remote key section allows you to send key combinations. For example, you can simulate the Windows key or you can simulate the Control Alt Delete combination. To upload files to your desktop, click on the Upload icon, and the File Explorer of the local client will appear. Select the file you want to upload and click Open. Another File Explorer dialog appears, this time from the remote desktop. Select where you want to store the file and click Save. The file is now uploaded to your virtual desktop. In a similar way, you can also download files to the local client. Click the Download icon and select the file you want to download. We will first rename the file for demo purposes to see the difference. The file is now downloaded to the local client and visible in the download history of the local browser. You can also run the desktop in full screen mode. Simply click the full screen icon and click change to have the resolution be updated to the new size. To demonstrate clipboard redirection, we open Notepad. We take the session out of full screen to have access to the URL bar of the local client. Note that we can copy and paste from the local client towards remote. To demonstrate print redirection, we open WordPad and select File Print. A printer called 2x Universal Printer is shown here. Select it and click Print. A local printer dialog is now presented. From here, you have access to any locally available printer. To demonstrate audio redirection, we open a browser in the remote session and browse to a YouTube video. Note that the audio is redirected back to the local device. To demonstrate audio input redirection, we first confirm the audio input is configured and set to remote audio. We open Audacity as an application. When playing audio close to the microphone of the local device, Audacity inside the remote session is able to record the audio. Besides running a full desktop, you can also run published applications. In this case, we open a few sample applications. They all run from within the local browser. In a similar way as before, you can also use Search to easily launch applications. The same telemetry data, clipboard access, and options to upload and download files are also available for published applications. This concludes the video covering user experience for Parallels DAS. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels Tech Byte series.